The St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority recently celebrated a significant milestone with the official opening ceremony of a newly constructed compost processing shed at the Deglo Sanitary Landfill. This initiative seeks to develop the capacity and efficiency in the agriculture industry as part of an ongoing enhancement of the efficiency of production distribution supply chain of fruits and vegetable projects. Ambassador of the Republic of China, Taiwan, to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Chien Chen, articulated his appreciation for the collaborative effort of every stakeholder involved. However, underlined the crucial role of enhancing compost production practices to ensure the long-term sustainability of agriculture in St. Lucia. Composting is one of the simplest yet powerful actions we can take to reduce waste restore the health of our soils, and help mitigate climate change. This cover facility will allow us to divert organic waste from landfills, offer a dedicated space to store agricultural residuals, and enhance the efficiency of producing compost by mitigating the unpredictable effect from rainfall or weather. One of the major highlights was the unveiling of farmer input subsidies. A farmer can now get back the compost for a subsidized price of $10. These subsidies have been identified as a key factor that will significantly impact the overall efficiency and sustainability of agricultural operations, providing farmers with the necessary support to enhance productivity while reducing production costs overall. Minister of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Honorable Alfred Prosper, underscored the paramount importance of fortifying waste management systems alongside fostering sustainable agricultural growth. This facility symbolizes not only progress in waste management and agricultural development, but also a collective commitment to securing a healthier, more sustainable future for all St. Lucians. The Deglo National Landfill is a crucial part of our island's waste management system. And over the years, we have taken steps to introduce green cycling practices. While these initiatives have seen some success, the need for a dedicated facility to cure compost piles, store finished compost material, and manage the sales and promotion of these products became increasingly evident. The Ministry of Agriculture regards this most recent accomplishment as a significant step in the right direction towards stakeholders collaborating and investing in more initiatives to promote efficiency and sustainability in the agricultural supply chain, which will ensure a prosperous future for farmers and the community at large. From the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, I am Zarek Felix reporting.